more after because um, they just going right into it. We got Maddy rocking the Daisy. I know I've seen yes. this pop up a couple times at PCG, but Man. I did not know he was going to pull that out. So this is interesting. That 3-1 score, Scott, Maddy G, that one was Daisy, if I'm not mistaken. Was it? That's what I heard. Okay, because I, I don't know if he played Wolf because he's been playing Wolf too. Yeah, yeah. So he, he's been really just trying to mess around with all the top tiers who he likes, and he thinks Daisy slash Peach, they got the sauce. And if they got the sauce, that's where Matty G is. Yeah, exactly, man. He is one to follow the sauce, and we can see him already putting the gears together. The gears are turning, the combos starting to get connected. I mean, if you see, if you've watched this man on DMG, <laughs> he's creating the sauce. Exactly. It, he is definitely one to extend a lot of those combos that people are trying to recreate on Twitter right now, and put them in bracket. But also, somebody who's got the sauce, Jen, with this Palu, has been putting in so much work over in New York. So much work, in fact, he even beat Ling Ling last time they played, not mistaken, in this exact matchup. So he is experienced, to say the least, Ling, a Peach veteran. Oh, Matty G, a little, a, a Daisy. Uh, he's he's the Fletchling, man. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. He, he just came into the scene, brand new, into the world. But we're going to see how he's able to hold it down now. He, Gonna run for grab those turns and try to space out around it. And the turns for uh, Peach and Daisy actually give some some pretty clean oh, confirms. Man. Oh my god! Oh, my oh man, what happened? I looked away from the screen for a second. Somebody fill me in. Uh, the the uh, the parasol had a uh, rather bad malfunction. Uh, it turns was, um, out uh, the staff in a downward motion. Not good against the parasol. Oof. Or not good for the parasol. At least. Yeah, yeah, definitely should have gotten a higher product in the dollar store. Uh, now I don't. I, I I think a big reason why he decided not to go Crom is because of Palatina's edge guard ability against Crom. True. Like, that, that's like you oh. definitely want to see him do it, but the matchup, I don't know. I don't think the matchup's so bad, but yeah, you definitely see the counters, the F smashes. Those are definitely things you have to watch out for his Crom. But I think Maddie can just kind of beat him up on stage so much that it doesn't matter. But we'll see. So far, he might just put some more faith in the Daisy. Some good edge guarding from Jen, though. You know what's crazy to me? We see in here, we're watching Maddie G play all these characters, all these characters. I'm like, yo, yo, Maddie, how come you don't play Cloud? He's like, I don't have Cloud unlocked on my setup yet. <laughs> Are you kidding I, me? It's true, I heard that. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have Cloud? Bro, how long has this game been out? You still haven't unlocked all the characters. He's like, bro, I really don't play like that. And I'm like, but you go into tournaments like every week? That's just a testament to how good he is. But also, I definitely heard him say that. <laughs> like, right, it, it, Cloud didn't change that much. You can give him, you give him a try. So, I don't know if staying the Daisy is the right call here. I think we might actually end up seeing that wolf potentially come out that you were talking about before. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm, I'm curious, man. There's no way he's taking with that Daisy. That Daisy was looking crusty. I'm sorry to say it, Maddie, but that was not the answer. But this man right here, Mr. Awu himself, yeah, he could put on a little pressure. We're going to see what the, uh, I, what, what is Wolf? He's like a star mercenary type deal. He's a wolf flambo. <laughs> it's in his name. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so going into game two. Is that uh, block up yet? Uh, I, yeah. <laughs> All right, so throwing out the short hopper is trying to pressure him right now. Now, I do like the fact that he swapped the smash field so we could get some of these extensions and really shorten the, the space that Jen was able to work with because he was really out zoning Maddie throughout that whole last game. All right, and this looks a lot better already for Maddie. He's putting the connections together. He's moving in, out, lasers, combos. He's got it all going. But finally, some room to breathe for Jen. Oh, we're going to see what he's going to be able to get here right now. Gets hit by the back air from Jen. Jen's still trying to move his way in, but Maddie already looking so much better than he did in that game one, looking a lot more comfortable. You know, especially as someone who hasn't traditionally played uh, any of the floatier characters, I think a fast fall like Wolf yeah. really uh, plays to his strengths. For sure, for sure. Back throw here going to be enough. Yeah, maybe, not. maybe not. Great DI coming in from Jen. Living on a prayer, a second lease on yeah. life. Uh, he's trying. Looks like he's trying to drop down for a potentially a nair into a, like a follow up. But it's at this oh. point just reach for that back air and he's gonna get it. Yeah, that F tilt as good as it is, a whole lot of cooldown and it's gonna be a big punish from Maddie. Taking the first stock, nice change of pace for the Maddie fans in the crowd. But Jen trying to answer right back. They want all New York top eight. I think it's physically impossible, like mathematically impossible. But Jen's doing his part. Yeah, yeah, he's trying to get <laughs> as much as he can. Maddie running in with the Nair, gonna get caught by the retaliation up here coming out from Jen, and really needs to see if he can get another big open to rack up that damage. Jen, on the other hand, I mean, we saw this last time, he was still kind of struggling to get those final KOs, right? He'd get the damage, 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 damage. And when it came to killing time, he was nowhere to be seen. Exactly. Uh, that, right. You know, in that first game, the way that he was handling the recovery from Daisy was really good. And you don't see you don't see a whole lot of people really go off stage too much against Daisy. He hasn't really committed like that against Wolf, Big which I'm very surprised by. By the way, 
Oh, going for it all. He, oh my god, he wants it. Jen not giving it to him, but not really punishing him for it, so I don't blame him for going for another one. Jen finally answering in that first stock. Yeah, sometimes that's the answer, man. You see the fourth match come out from Wolfie. Y'all know, at this point, if you've been playing that, it's, jump. it's safe. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. That was dangerous. 51% no jump off stage. Manny G back off on the ledge. He oh. is taking Yikes. so much damage at the ledge right now. He cannot get off. Double jump back to the center stage. Finally getting him out of dodge. Oh, man, oh. Maddie on the ledge. And, all right, well, <laughs> almost oh. dying on that back here. Man, that's it's crazy. Sometimes we're using that, uh, what is that, what is that? Is that called Firewolf? Even though it has no fire? I think it's called Firewolf, right? <laughs> but I've heard people say Firewolf. I won't act like I know what the actual term is for it because we don't have the great Bible of Smash in front of All right, let's see. Could be the chance to even, Ooh. oh my God, swinging. I did not realize Bro, this I got Carpal Tunnel watching Wolf do that. <laughs> like, oh no, that can't be good. <laughs> Try to right. come down here, grab good the ledge. Good taken there to avoid getting hit by potentially an air and up air. And now he's stopped, starting to take, take a more reserved route. Not usually used to seeing Maddie do that. He's really much much more a blitzer. Well, I like the fact he's starting to slow it down. Just rack up that quick damage. Yeah, he's gonna get this conversion here. Coming down, that won't find that opening. Either forward tilt, almost enough to KO, Jen. Nice oh. use of the air dodge. And another weight on the F tilt. Maddie's been so good at avoiding those, but that's gotta be some sort of throw, right? Down throw up here? No. Really? I thought that, I'm pretty sure he was trying to DI mix up over there, but the problem is, like, of all of them, you for the down throw. Uh, potentially yeah. up throw, back throw. I'm not sure if it would have killed, but he ended up sealing it out anyways with that dash attack. Oh, wow. All right, some good movement here. Another F tilt. Only the last bit oh. gonna connect. Now he's taking the crazy route to the ledge, but making it back still. And I think right now, Jen seeing his win condition, he's saying, all right, if I get this man off stage, just keep forcing the scenario again and again and again. Eventually, I'll find the edge guard I'm looking for. It's a terrible place as Wolf to be in. Look at that. Has to dodge all this oh, and no! get and get up. That's it, 2-0, Jen. Going into game three, it's looking rough for my man, Maddie. He was... Oh. I was sitting there talking about earlier how he was just respecting him at the ledge a lot, not really trying to touch him mm -hmm. at all other than the explosive flames. Nah, he was holding that in his pocket the whole time. Wait for that situation where he got so comfy that he can give him that down to uh, that there at the ledge. I'm wondering if he goes a little bit more aggressive off stage this time around if he go, uh, goes back to Wolf. Well, I think we should see Maddie running back with the Wolf. That was I, th I think running back with the Wolf would not be a bad a bad oh play. Oh, maybe he the Mega Man. I, I think the Krom is a comfort pick too, but the thing is, like against anyone who has a, a down B counter, and like you're always sweating because it's really uh, the onus is heavily on you to mess up and not for them. They just press the button and they nine out of ten times get the edge guard. But I believe Maddie's I neutral know, man. with this character is so good. It's a little overstated. I think the combos are huge in this matchup. And I think a lot of the times you can get back to stage without used to not be. He I was just consistently getting back with those uh, air dodges to the ledge before exactly, yeah. with the wolf. And he wasn't really doing anything about it. I don't know if Jen was just giving it to him for free, but if he's going to continue to let him get that, like that's how Maddie's going to be able to consistently get back. Right. And I just think stuff like this, all of the combos the Crown can put together, totally make up for the offstage play. So part of me wonders, man, because if he gets those those nair planes off the stage, you know, it's, it's a matter of uh, how many times I got to run back the same scenario. But one thing I will point out is that Maddie G is probably. Uh, one of the best crumbs at getting that landing up air and yes. into whatever you want from there, right? In my opinion, I think he's the best crumb currently playing crumb right now. Him, him and James, man, they're the only two really putting out results that I know about anyway. Oh, there it is. I love that down tilt tech chase. Not getting exactly what he needed, but still putting the pressure on. Keeping it close, I already like this. I like it. Very smart going for the aggressive option there. You saw that Jen was headhunting, trying to go down there to get that punish. Yep. And a lot of times people just jump because they're too afraid to try and throw anything out there. Not Matty. He was very confident in that fair coming back. Wow, big grab going for the back here. Not going to connect. Maddie back on the ledge. Huge jump. His recovery is just reminds me of Shades of how good he was with recovering with Cloud. Right. Like he mm. didn't. He he was not afraid to spend limit. He would oh, he would throw it out there to seal out the kills. So in exchange, he had to learn how to recover with Cloud, and it's working well for him so far with the crumbs. Oh wow! Oh. There you go, Forto coming out from Jen, closing out that first stock. Maddie's still trying to find an answer to this Paul Lutena. Saw him actually uh, get punished there by the back throw, getting sent off stage because he accidentally did a Forto on the platform. And oh no, that is a lot of damage, Jen. Talking to him. But Maddie talking right back. Only 47%. Answers right back. Two stocks apiece. That was See clean you, movement, too. Jumping yeah. at him to kind of bait like a high recovery and then uh, going for the ledge cancel. You don't see that too often. That up air is not going to take it yet, but <laughs> another one of those might do it. Maddie's trying to get himself back down to the ground. 
All right, gonna make it back to ledge just around the explosive flame again. Oh, big opening. But nice. Ooh, is he okay? He's fine. You know, it's crazy because the thing is, for, for Maddie, right, uh, we saw him one time without his double jump in the air getting double, uh, getting juggled, and that's immediately when he decided to be reverse the, uh, the neutral beat, because it was like, oh, I need some sort of mix-up, but can't get back to the ledge this time around way too low, and he really needs a big play, or Jan is going to send him packing and straight home, because this is in the loser's bracket. Yeah, it is, and I don't know, Matty looks pretty comfortable when he's in charge, I just feel like the disadvantage is sort of where he's getting lost. Obviously, I guess it's more of a, an effect of playing the Krom character as well, but... Good thing going for him right now, though, is that at 88%, he can easily sell out this kill yep. with a potential jab to back air at the ledge or an F-Smash read if he catches him on the tech chase. And there we go. Prom, of course, one of the characters with the best ledge trapping in the game. Has a lot of options. You hold that shield, you can up B to the other side, catch the roll in, uh, and then you can just shield grab and do anything you really want here. And he's getting closer, right? He's racking up the damage, hasn't taken too much, needs to land the finishing blow, but Jen has just been doing such a good job of keeping his stocks uh, alive as long as he could. Look at this perfect parry coming out from Jen. Oh, wow, it's a dangerous spot to be in. Big opportunity for Maddie. No, doesn't get the connection. F till is, uh, okay, I was gonna say F till are back here. Both lethal for Maddie, 50%. Can he bring it back? The crowd waking up. And yeah, the crowd feeling it for Jen. They want to see him move on, but Maddie G holding on to his last stock, trying to get bring this back. He's doing a good job of really kind of adjusting, even though he's behind. Oh, so much here for that shield pressure, playing off stage like that. Oh, my God. Oh, Maddie's waking up. Oh, Jen. My God. Jen. Bro, he out of the bed, into the kitchen. Oh, my Maddie. God. Maddie's putting it together right now. I don't know what something, <laughs> what happened along the way, but Maddie's really waking it up right now. Big Nair, though, on the parry, but dash attack. Oh, he's still on the offensive here. Jen, uh, not used to the sudden change in pressure, right? He's used to Maddie kind of playing at a certain pace, and he's doing the best he can. Managed to land a hit there. Still in a very good spot to take this oh set. Maddie still playing from behind, even though he's looking strong right now. Oh, wow. Oh, dash attack going to miss. Jen with a huge grab. Gets him off stage. Dangerous spot to be in. No counter. No F oh. smash, nothing. Yeah, trying to go for the down tilt instead. He might cost him. He's going to get back. No, the oh, explosive no, play. Not going to kill just yet, but he is going to ha have to go high. And the back air is going to take it. it. Finally getting him at the end of it. Almost making the run back, but Jen going to take it with 3-0. Yeah, and you can see it there. I mean, that scenario happened exactly twice in that match. Maddie got caught, sent flying. He burned his double jump, immediately B reverses, right? Yep. We saw that once before in the first set. And he had to air dodge back. He just mistimed it. Had he waited a little bit longer, or he probably could have just gone for the up B even. Might take that risk, but Jen might have thrown yeah. out the counter. So Maybe. he was just in a very bad spot. Maddie, uh, you know, tried to make the adjustments. Tried, you know, he had three games, three different characters. None of them were, you know, polished enough to take out the, uh, the demon that I guess is Jen's polished yeah, in for yeah. Maddie. He's going to go ahead and lab that one out.